Hello and welcome to this JMeter beginner tutorial series. So today is the 14th session and we are going to understand about functions and variables in JMeter. So functions and variables are uh, thought to be a little complex elements in JMeter but actually it is uh, not and it is a very simple concept if we understand the actual you know crux of these topics. Okay, so uh, let us start by functions so how do we define functions in jmeter right so we can say any method that can populate a field in any other element of a test plan so function is any any method or special values that can be used to populate any other field in any other test uh, element of a test plan okay so if we look at the syntax of a function so it is like we start with a dollar and then a curly braces start and we give double underscore so underscore is two times and then we give the function name okay and curly braces close now this is how we give a function name and this is an example of a function that does not have any arguments suppose we have an argument then what we will do is the syntax will be same but we will also have arguments given in brackets like this variable 1 variable 2 and so on right so we have both kind of functions in jmeter which have arguments and which do not have arguments right uh, so if we have to define a variable then what is a variable in jmeter okay so we can say variable is uh, like a container that can store a value which can be referenced by any other element within the thread okay so variable is uh, something which can store a value and this value can be referenced by any other element within a thre thread right so this is very important within the thread okay because variables are always local to a thread local to a thread you cannot reference a variable which is created in thread 1 in a uh, thread 2 you cannot reference the, that variable right so this is what variable is and if we look at the syntax it is dollar and then curly braces start variable name and curly brace stop okay so this is what a function is and what a variable is and what are their syntaxes right uh, this is a very short theory we will look at it in details in the practical and one more thing that we should take care is a uh, function name is both a uh, function as variable are case sensitive okay generally our functions and variables are case sensitive and uh, in functions the naming is camel casing okay camel casing is the format of naming the if we have two words in a function the first word start with a lower case and the second word starts with an uppercase this is called camel casing okay so this is about some syntax okay now let us look at some of the functions that we commonly used in jmeter okay uh, let us start with a very basic log function okay and how will be the syntax it will be dollar double underscore log and then whatever message we want to print within the brackets and close of the curly braces right let us go to our jmeter and look at some practical examples i'll create a thread group and let me create a sampler and let me create a http request okay and for the http request let us go to some website let us go to lifecharger.org okay and i will copy this from here and give it here 
so a very simple HTTP request okay and I'm also going to uh, you know copy this thread three times okay so now we have three threads right I'll give this as thread group one and this one is HTTP request one this is thread group two HTTP request two this is thread group three and HTTP request three okay so now we have three thread groups and each thread group has a HTTP request let us create a listener to test our test plan uh, let us add a uh, view results in uh, let us add summary report and I will also add one more listener view results in table okay so if I start my test I want to save as well I'll just save it so if I start my test now yes everything is okay my test is running fine okay now let us look at uh, our log listener so what I'm going to do is in place of this label HTTP request one I'm going to say dollar log and message I'm saying hello world and close the curly braces right so in in place of the label HTTP request one now I actually have a function and let us run and see what is the result I am running it now so did you see in place of the label in, instead of uh, putting some uh, name which was earlier HTTP request one it is actually printing hello world right you can see it here as well it is actually printing hello world right so this is what uh, the use of function log is and we can actually uh, you know uh, use it with some static data as well so I can say label and this function so if I run it now so see it is saying label hello world okay so this is how we can use uh, this log function then we have other functions like let us say we have time okay so what I'm going to do uh, in place of log I am saying time and time I want is in dd mm y by y and hours minutes and seconds right I'm running it now and you can see it is actually printing the date and time so this is 13th 82016 and the time is 2112.10 okay so this is the use of time uh, we have other functions like we have thread num so I can say directly thread number so this this function does not have any arguments it will just print out the thread number right so it will you can say see it this is one thread right so let's suppose we are running it for five users now if I run this now you can see label one label two so this is first thread second thread third fourth and fifth and so on right so this is how we use it uh, then we have some other kind of functions like we can actually uh, do a sum int sum right so suppose I want to do a sum I will say dollar int sum and I want to add 2 and 3 ok so the result of this function should be 5 right so let us uh, run it and see now you can see it is actually printing 5 ok so th this is how we uh, you know uh, use functions there are other lists which I will just show you and uh, let us also quickly learn about variables so suppose I have another thread group within this uh, another request within this thread okay and in this particular HTTP request 
I want to store the result of 2 and 3 into some variable so I will say uh, result so what it will do is it will add 2 and 3 and it will store it here in results and this result is something I can use anywhere within the thread group so I am using it here and the syntax is dollar curly braces and the variable name okay so this uh, particular request should show the result of this particular addition okay let me run it and see yeah so see this has been printed 5 has been printed 10 times right because for this request as well as for this request the result the label name is coming as 5 right now let's suppose I want to mix and match functions and as well as variables right so suppose I want to write here a function dollar int sum and here I am taking 5 and the second value is not a static value but a variable so I will say dollar result okay so what I am saying is add 5 to whatever is the result of this particular addition which is 2 and 3 so the result here should be 5 plus 5 which is 10 right let me run it and see and yes you can see this is showing us as 10 right so this is how we can uh, you know use functions and there is a long list if you want to use other functions what we can do is go to options and go to function helper dialog okay this will open the function helper dialog for you okay and here you can find all the functions which are available in jmeter okay all the predefined functions are here suppose I want to uh, know about int sum just click it here okay and click on help and you will get all the details of about this function what does, does this function do what is the syntax how do you can use it how you can uh, refer it and add a variable and in fact you have all the functions here right you have a list of entire functions these are the information type of functions then we have input type of functions then we have calculations and variables and so on right so you can uh, go to any function and read about it and use it into your uh, test plan okay you can also go to apache jmeter site okay i am going to apache jmeter this is the official site and i am going to use a manual and if you see point number 21 functions here again you have the same list right these are the information kind of functions and we looked at log from here we also looked at thread num then we have input type okay we have calculation we looked at int sum okay then we have all these properties strings and variables and so on right so it is a long list I cannot cover all the functions and variables in this session but yes you now you have a, a list of how to find your functions and you also have uh, a way to you know check what functions you need how to use it and then use it in your test plan okay so this was all about functions and variables in jmeter hope you like it happy learning thank you